Hey guys, just uh, wanted to show you how I deal with a fine. Easiest way to deal with a fine. So I'm pretty sure this is a fine. I can't I can't confirm 100% whether or not it is a fine. Um, but it said it, it was shoved in my gate. It's from Victoria Police, and they've been telling me for for you know over two weeks they're going to give me a fine. So I assume that's what it is. So what I write on the front is unclaimed. Do not consent offer to contract. No consent equals no contract. Return to sender for cause without dishonor. And what I'm saying is, I am not giving any consent to being in this contract. I'm not. I'm not. Offer, I'm not accepting the contract. They're operating at a commercial level, and the police, when they when they issue fines for body corporates, they they themselves, the, the Victoria Police, also have an ABN. They're operating in commerce, so the rules of commerce apply. Uh, if you want to learn about how commercial law works, read the Bills of Exchange Act section. Um, actually, just read, read, read through the whole thing, especially in the definitions. I've um, I've, I've, I've jumped on the train now. I've jumped on the train, and um, yeah, I love these little guys. I do. I can I'm, I'm now on the train with them. It's a runaway train. It's a runaway conspiracy train and you know it, it, when it gets to its final stop we're all going to get coronavirus i've committed now i'm now going to get be updating you for the foreseeable future about these people i can't help it um i don't know why i feel drawn to them um i feel happy that they're, at least they're not nazis who you know want to blow up mosques um uh, at least they just want to blow up 5g towers um and uh it's kind of it's just they're, they're, they're endearing there's going to be a big anti-lockdown rally tomorrow, and I want to, I want to, I want to get there. I want to show you what's happened between now and since since last we spoke. Um, a little bit first of all, uh, some people commented, you know, that, that my video got across to to, to the people who um, were doing TV smashing. What the fuck? This guy's an asshole. Someone said Philomena. That <laughs> Philomena was the one with the. Um, you remember she was using a hammer to smash the little phone? That, that, that was a bit. Shout out to Philomena. Anyway, Cherry goes, yeah, I know. That's why I shared it here, to make everyone aware of it. I instantly thought, wow, he wasted five, 50 minutes bagging us out and didn't even look into anything we were saying. Good luck to him. He better hope we're wrong. <laughs> it's all true. I did waste 50 minutes bagging you out, and I do hope that you're wrong. Um, I really, really hope that. What else have we got? Yeah, obviously he gets paid to put shit on people that are awake. He will lead his words. Um, and then someone's responded to that and they've gone, if you mean he gets paid on YouTube, I wouldn't worry about that. He has under 600 subs. Nobody's watching him. You know what? She's got a point. <laughs> I mean, I mean, people pay me on Patreon a little bit, but they're just people that believe it and, and obviously like may want to hear about these kinds of people. Um, and someone else, what have we got? Um, he is definitely a sheep and he's a slaves. I really waste my seconds in watching the video. Crazy sheep. <laughs> I never been called a crazy sheep. What is his curriculum vitae? Oh, sweet. <laughs> So pure and innocent. <laughs> Curriculum for day. <laughs> anyway, more positively, I spoke to Thanos. Thanos goes, he takes a high road with me. He goes, I hope you do well with video. God bless. Um, and we had a yarn, you know. I said, I hope you do well too, you know. Um, let's. I basically sort of suggested we should have a yarn. And he goes, let's tee something up, brother. I've got some things to show and info I can tell you about. We'll tee something up. I truly wish you the best. Sick. So now um, I, I'm ha totally happy to do that. And it's refreshing for me to actually kind of think to myself, like, I think these people are ridiculous, but I do want to talk to them. Because, you know, when you do anti-fascist stuff, like I'm very firmly up. Like, I don't want to talk to any of those fucking. Nazi or alt right dead shits. They always wanted to talk to me. They'd always reach out, but I thought they were true pieces of shit. So I'd rather look down on them. And I, I, I didn't think they were worth 
um, directly engaging within a, you know, like in a, 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 a back and forth way. Um, I thought, what's the fucking point? They're fundamentally disingenuous. This guy loves the attention. He's loving the reach, but um, and he's, you know, he's a corny showman, what have you, all that kind of thing. But I don't. Again, as I said in the last video, I don't dislike him. And and they should, if they had have actually watched my video, those other people, they would have realised I wasn't really like. Obviously, I don't agree with them. Obviously, I find them funny, but um. Yeah, you know, I don't hate them. I don't hate hate them, you know. So, um, Fanos, if you're seeing this, bro, let's 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 tee some shit up. After all the TV smashing last week, Fanos didn't um, he didn't he didn't go the way that he wanted. Let's have a look at what he had to say afterwards. He wasn't very happy with his followers because only about thirty of them actually did a TV smashing video, uh, as opposed to he thought. Yeah, you know, he had. 20,000 people in his group. He thought it'd be 20,000 videos, you know, inundate the internet. Um, let's have a look. But I got bullshit excuses. Like, oh, if we were marching, I would have done something and all this other stuff. Listen, man, I don't know who you're bullshitting, right? But be honest with yourself, right? If you couldn't do a simple video, like get up in your own house, yeah. where you're not going to have cops trying to beat you down or give you fines or whatever else, and do something, don't sit there and bullshit to me yeah. like you're actually going to get up if I tell us to go march next week down the street and you're going to do it because you're full of shit. You're full of fucking shit. Right? And that's the truth. Now, if you're going to leave because of that comment, leave. Yeah, fuck off. Fuck off and leave if you don't fucking agree with us, you fucking dogs. We don't need pieces of shit like you in our anti-lockdown scene. You know? You fucking piece of shit dogs. You know? You either smash your TV or fuck off. So he wasn't very happy. So he's got the next day. He's probably crashed and burned. I reckon he would have had a really tough night on Saturday if I know these kinds of people correctly. He had a tough night. He's woken up. He's like, no, fuck, we've got to do something. You know, I am a leader. I've got to do the movement right now. So he did this. So you know what? I'm going to go stand on those fucking steps right now. Right this fucking second. I'm going. As soon as that fucking Uber gets here, I'm going to go stand on those steps. Because you know why? If nothing gets done, if no one stands up and actually goes out there, forget this planning, forget peaceful this, peaceful that. Everyone go down there now. Get out! You want something done? Everyone go down there now. Go down there now, you fucking dead shits. Can't even smash our TV. You're fucking useless. Go down now! So what he was talking about was going down to, I think, Parliament Steps in Melbourne and the next day, sugar rush, Phanos, big leader, man. No one fucking listen to me in this group. Got to do something. So he's he's got he's gotten in the Uber, as he said. He's gone down there. Now I this is a video of him there. It's a very long video. I'm, I'm only going to cover a minute of it. There's this amazing bit with him, and there's this fucking cooked sovereign citizen type dude. If you don't know what a sovereign citizen is, that's a kind of like a a person who. You know, the government isn't going by the constitution, so technically I've, the flag is at half mass. That means that I'm the prime minister. That's just trying to be a good dude to the coppers, but he's got to deal with his cooker next to him. Let's have a look, look at this. Nine point, nine good work, brother! Nine thousand three hundred times it's been downloaded on Apple. It's, it's like, it's like, so, audio has to be quiet, but he's telling him about the Apple downloads. These coppers don't give a fuck. They're fucking just doing their job. Just just go home, that's what they're thinking. I'm trying to be nice to him. He's mate shit. This is trespass. You're actually now a trespass. You are a service to This is trespass. See his mate thinks that the coppers are trespassing, so I mean I don't even Here we go now, check out what his mate says right now. Here we go. It's coming up. <laughs> Can you believe these guns? What is this energy that they have? <laughs> Guys, they're out there. At Parliament House, threatening to hang coppers, and the coppers are all just letting them go. <laughs> I'm not mad. I don't want more people, even if they're complete 
violent cookers to get fined. But what the fuck's going on here? And they don't get any fines. Refugee Action Collective did a protest in car inside of cars down near the Mantra because they've fucking got these fucking, you know, they've got like refugees, asylum seekers locked up inside the Mantra. Some of the guards have got fucking coronavirus and they're like, this is dangerous. You've got to fucking let them go. You've got to arrange something alternative. Let them out. And everyone, you know, 10 or 11 people there got these fucking $1,600 fines. And none of these cookers are even getting a fine because they're all so fried. I want some of their energy. I've got to set an example, right? So why don't I just go down there? Why don't I go stand there on my own? Yeah? Just to show how much, how, how I'm all in. How about that? And then, and then next time I ask you guys to... I don't know, release a video or do something, maybe you'll actually grow a set and do it. Yeah, maybe you'll stop fucking wasting Thanos' time, you fucking dead shit time wasters, and smash your fucking TV next time he asks you to do it. But you know what? I had nine police officers standing in front of me. Nine officers of the law standing in front of me. And by the end of it, I had them all spellbound <laughs> with what I was saying. <laughs> You know what these guys don't understand? They think that because the police are uh, sitting there being polite to them and going, "Yeah, no, I understand. Yeah, no, no, look, I, I, I would, you know, I would, I agree with you." But they think that means that the coppers are like fans of them, and they all think that. Listen, mate, they, they, they think you're cooked. They're just saying to you that they like you or they agree with you because. They're worried about what you're going to do. I mean, look at some of your fucking mates. Your mate's standing next to you telling him he's going to hang them. You are not normal. And they, there is no way that they think that you're normal. But they're going to be nice to you. Because what benefit is it to them in terms of their one mission, which is you fucking off home, if they go, no, I think you're a fucking fruitcake. They're not going to say that. So they're going to be spellbound. Look, I'm not trying to burst these people's bubble or nothing. But it's just... It's just... <laughs> it's just so sweet. Anyway, let's have a look at another... Um, let's have a look at another cool guy. This one shits me. This guy shits me. He's too... He's fucking so chuffed with himself. He's up in Sydney. Have a look at this. Oh, oh, failure to comply with this direction <laughs> may be an offence. Hello, Victor Tay here. So I went to the city again on Saturday to get my weekly exercise. When I got there, I saw a few people who looked like they were being given a hard time by the police. I'm not sure what the problem was because from what they were wearing and carrying, it was obvious they were simply getting some essential exercise. <laughs> Victor does this thing where he gets everyone to go and do some exercise. <laughs> Every uh, weekend... A Saturday in, in the CBD around Parliament House. Um, and then that's really, really funny because technically that the law say that you could do exercise. So we're actually just being legal officer, but he, he walks around with like a, you know, a quarantine uh, is a hoax type placard or what have you. And then he does these videos tittering every time about how, like, you know, hilarious and... Um, clever, he's being. But dude, here's what your mates think. This is the kind. This is this is your opinion. The Facebook is a Masonic. Cry Google is has the six 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 in it. Look, it's got three six heads. Google is the seal of Satan. When you and your mates think that or something approaching that, you don't get to titter and be clever. One more cooker for today. And this is where tomorrow becomes important. This guy's called Craig Cole. So, on Sunday, 10th of May, in Victoria, and I believe other parts of the country, perhaps, hopefully, let's reach out to everyone. But here in Victoria, we are going to unite and peace and a peaceful voice to ask our government questions. Get on down! Get off your fucking ass! You don't smash TVs! Get out there and get down to the fucking rally! You don't get off your fucking ass for Thanos! You wouldn't do that, you fucking lazy bastard! Stand up for your rights! Stand up for your rights! I wonder if he'll bring that, um, Cadbury Easter bunny in. Anyway, 
so they'll all be there tomorrow. So this is a hype up video, guys. I'm doing a hype up video for tomorrow's rally. There's, there's some part of me that wants to go down just to film them or to see what's happening here. I really do. I want to see my brothers and sisters. But I, got, I can't, I can't, because I actually do kind of believe, I don't believe in the belligerent individualist freedom of going, I should be able to do whatever the fuck I like at the expense of, like, old people or anyone with diabetes or, you know, what have you, because I want to go to uh, the go-karting place, you know, other people should have to sacrifice themselves. You know, I believe more in the, the collective freedom of like, well, it sucks, but, you know, we're, we're all trying to uh, navigate our way to a tough time. And there's really, that, that's what's going on here. There's like this butting of heads of two kind of conceptualizations of freedom at the moment. And these guys have got no concept. And that's what really, you know, I get it impresses upon me again and again about these people. They've got no concept of many, many things. You know, like this person, Karen here. Look, this is from Cam Smith on Twitter. She she thinks that the black spot program is is for the bad reception for the phones. <laughs> and this guy, Bohan, thinks that compulsory face masks are, f are f helping the facial recognition system. Even though a face mask covers your face, you just hasn't thought it through. <laughs> I've never told him. <laughs> They're all so sweet and innocent. They don't understand road signs. They don't know. They don't know about anything. Look at this picture. <laughs> they think there's a 666 in all the company logos. <laughs> Because they live their whole life under neoliberalism and all that they get to interpret in their weird, fuzzy headed lives is company logos. <laughs> 2 pm tomorrow in the city. Get out of there. Get off your fucking ass. Get out of there with Venus and Craig and all the other lunatics and have your fucking say. Tell the government, see you there. See you there. Don't see you there. Stay at fucking home. You know what I mean? I uh, really want to film the cunts, but I'm not going to do it. So you fucking stay at home too. They'll all Facebook live stream it anyway. <laughs> What's the fucking point? We'll all get to see their videos anyway. We don't need to be there. They're all, they'll all dox each other by live streaming it. We don't have to do shit.